Greetings, Pastor Chris here. I just wanted to take a moment of your time to talk a little bit about water baptism. I understand there could probably be some new faces in the crowd, and you're probably sitting there thinking, what in the world's going on here? What an odd thing to do, a big guy in a white robe dunking people uh, under the water. Uh, and I could understand where that would seem very odd, so I just want to uh, speak on that just for uh, a moment. Um, water baptism is... <laughs> It's simply one of the oldest, uh, one of the greatest Christian traditions we have, dating back to 2,000 years ago. Um, but though it is one of the uh, greatest traditions we have, uh, it seems that uh, maybe a lot of believers might not fully understand what it is that we're doing and why it is uh, that we're doing it. Um, but we're not just somebody that just come along and just made this up. We didn't just make up another tradition or dream something up out of our head. Uh, we was commanded to do this. Uh, we was commanded to do this um, by the Father uh, who commanded John and then by our head of our church, Jesus Christ, who commanded um, all, all of us to go out into the world in Matthew 28 uh, and make disciples of all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so uh, we're just simply being obedient um, to what we were commanded to do um, by our loving Father. Uh, and another thing that we should remember uh, when it comes to water baptisms is water baptism it has no power to save the lost soul um, when my grandfather Lewis Dunham when he was baptized he requested to be baptized in a creek or a, or, a, or a river or somewhere that there was running water because he said I don't just don't want to go into your baptismal tank and go down and all them sins just float around and, and all that still stale water uh, but he wanted to be baptized in running water so when he went under all them sins would surely go on down the stream uh, but I want you to know as funny as that seems and sounds uh, that baptism has no power to do such a thing uh, a person is washed in the blood of Jesus um, and so baptism is powerless to save uh, but it is us being obedient to God and another thing it is it's also us identifying uh, uh, with Christ himself you see every morning uh, every day of my life I never take it off actually uh, I wear this wedding ring uh, and this wedding ring uh, symbolizes that I am a married man and it identifies me with my uh, wonderful wife. Um, and so uh, in doing baptism, a Christian is also likewise identifying with Christ himself. Um, and, and not only that, uh, Paul, and uh, I think it's a Romans 6, uh, speaks about uh, when we join Jesus Christ in baptism, we join him in his death. Uh, but I want you to notice it uses the word we a lot. So not only are we identifying with Christ uh, personally, but we're also identifying ourselves as the church, as the body of Christ, as the family uh, of God. And so, um, but don't get stuck into being um, joined with him in his death because it don't end there. You see, the gospel just simply means good news and there's really good news in all this and that is if we join him in his death uh, remember Christ was resurrected uh, in the same way when we go into the waters of baptism and we're taken under the water we're symbolizing being with him joining with him identifying with him in his death but when we come out of the waters you see that's where the magic happens that's where we identify with him in his resurrection joining him in new life and that's why uh, one of my favorite verses in all of the scriptures is if a man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. And so for every one of these converts back here uh, that's about to be baptized, uh, when they are doing this, uh, keep in mind that they are not who that they used to be, but they are a new creation in Christ, identifying with him and being obedient with him. And we want to encourage anyone uh, of you out there, if you have not been um, baptized, uh, but you confess Christ as your Savior, uh, you have repented and you have believed upon Him, uh, we want to encourage you that you don't need to wait around. You need to be baptized, and you need to be up here identifying yourself and being obedient to Christ. So we want to encourage you to do that, uh, and you can make an appointment with us at any time to do so. Thank you.